times. Have a good, clean fight. Go back to your corner, gentlemen. Get close to that in. Force him into a slug fence. Left hook to the body, left hook to the body again. Because Dom Dabs, that's all in occasionally loading up on a punch. He also broke his right hand in the last two of his three fights with mixed auto punches. Damgard saw us dropping underneath the punches usually. Very seldom pulling back. Gaddy. Damgard lands a straight left to the center. Gaddy still focusing on the body. Right hand to the body, left hand to the body. Now the right uppercut lands flush. The vision. And he's throwing his right hand the proper way when you fight a southpaw. Not loading up, just a little simple right hand. Short and to the point. There's a perfect left hand by Gaddy, and Domgard counters perfectly with the right hand. Three to nothing, 30-27, Gaddy. Gaddy backed up against the ropes with a series of right uppercuts. Hammers Domgard. Domgard comes back. Left hook to the body from Gaddy, and now he comes back up with the uppercut. The Great right time, uppercut. Man. The right Still throwing the right hand. Hard to tell whether there's any less authority on it. Remember, he broke it in both the second and third fights against Mickey Ward and won them both anyway. Gaddy taking a real punish, battering here. And those, those short punches are being effective because he's going to test the conditioning of Gaddy by being so persistent. And now Gaddy backs him off with the right hand to end the round. Once again, as you can see, Gaddy has had a little bit punching room, but Damgard is getting closer, and when they get in a certain distance, Damgard is landing shots, but Gaddy can't. But Gaddy can turn the entire fight. Is it possible that Damgard has the sense he's the bigger, stronger guy, his welterweight career is telling, and he's getting more confident with each passing moment? Yes, but I, I think the fight is going pretty much as he expected, though more so than Gaddy. But uh, right there, good example. Gaddy didn't land nothing while they made a change. Now he lands to the cuff by Domgard. Referee Lindsey Page did nothing about it. Gaddy with a huge right hand upstairs. Big left hook by Gaddy. Domgard lands a shot. They trade again at close range. And another huge left hook by Arturo Gaddy. And another one. Domgard has not been in these type of adults. Just so we can right now. They trade shots with reckless abandon. This is the kind of fight which has typified Arturo's entire career. And you think he's finished and he'll still be punching. Damgard got in a good left hand. McGirt, who trains Gaddy and uh, force light heavyweight champion Antonio Tuck to Larry Hazard would have. And he's known to do that. Straight left hand lands for Gaddy. Gaddy may be switching southpaw and throwing that straight left hand power punch because of whatever trouble he's having with the right there for a moment which is the kind of thing he did against Mayweather and Mayweather knocked him down if Domgard was a big punch one thing that seemed to be pretty obvious to me that Gaddy doesn't have too much fear of Domgard's power that's what those body punches were set up for There's the difference in punching power, and now blood streaming from the mouth. Throws an uppercut and throws another right hand. How courageous is Arturo Gatti? As once again, he appears to be fighting through the pain of perhaps a broken right hand. And yes, but still, Gatti being the warrior, he still is going to throw that right hand. Absolutely. Look at those left hooks. Those are classic signature Arturo Gatti left hooks. Like the one that starched Rafael, or Gabe Ruelas, I should say, at a moment when Ruelas was beating him. Like the one that starched Wilson Rodriguez when he was blind in both eyes. The thing about Gatti, he can punch with both hands. Out of the southpaw stance. Uh, we know Gatti is now fighting the southpaw so he can get power with his left hand. Exactly right. Head. But that's discouragement about the rest of his career, not about this fight. He's going to fight through the fight and make it the best he can. Switching to the southpaw stance. Still throwing the right hand as an uppercut. Look at the guts. Absolutely. I expect him to go southpaw. Oh, oh, and he bends over, cringing in pain after throwing the right to the body. And, and hurt him with the right hand. both hands go. And he hurt Damgard with a short right hand. Five and a half more minutes with an apparently broken right hand. Damgard holds behind the head and hits Gaddy. Against
against the fighter who clearly was holding it up and yelled to Gaddy in the corner and Gaddy looked and listened very carefully before going back to fight Damgar. That is beginning to look yeah, grotesque. I, I think Gaddy looking at his body and everything, he looks very good at walk away. You know, his body looks much more firm and stronger than even Damgar. Hey, look. It looks very strong. He's beating up a guy who's 28 who had won all of his previous fights and came here expecting to beat Arturo Gatti. And now he staggers him with the right hand and Lindsay Page stops the fight. And once again, the hero rises. ...to whom you must compare yeah. Arturo Gatti. This is fantastic. He's throwing power punches back and back. Knocked keep, him out with the right hand. Talk. Yes, and keeping a distance between them as he's punching. He landed 29 of 48 power shots in this last round of the fight. Good stoppage. Guy's face was broken up. What a right hand shot that was. Divisions. The ultimate blood and guts warrior from Jersey City, New Jersey, Arturo. Thunder!